Hello everybody, my name is Jacob from Children's Museum Houston and today we are doing another educator moment sponsored by Total. So all you're gonna need for this one is an assortment of small Lego. You don't really want anything bigger than the four by two piece. Uh, you can use bigger pieces, but it's better to have the small ones. The best things you can have today are really these tiny little one by ones. And you'll also need some kind of a Lego sheet. So I have this one, I think it's 20 by 20, um, but any size is fine. Uh, just you'll want something that you can put a bunch of Lego on in a row because what we're doing today is Lego pixel art. So pixel art is art that's inspired and used in video games. So it's inspired by video games. Um, it was used in video games years ago. Uh, it still is kind of, but uh, video games have more pixels than you can even notice anymore. So the pixels have gotten so small that you don't even see them. So what these pixels are, are little squares of light that have different colors. And so in older video games, you can actually see those squares because they didn't have that many pixels in them. But in older video games, you could see those squares. And so what pixel art is, is art using those squares. So kind of putting those squares together. So I'm gonna start making some Lego pixel art and we can see what I mean by that. Here is an example of pixel art, and you can see that each kind of unit of Lego, each one by one piece, is just another square of color that makes up this whole. And you might recognize this piece of pixel art as probably one of the most famous of all times. It's the character Mario. So here's a few more uh, ideas that you could use for pixel art from actual video games and from elsewhere. Uh, and you can also come up with your own ideas at home. Now, the one thing I would recommend is to kind of pick a few colors, maybe two, three, or four, to start with at least, and then add in as you need them. But think of an idea, figure out which few colors you need, and that way it'll really come together. Because if you have a lot more colors than this, it starts to look just like a whole big splash of color. So, good luck, and I can't wait to see some of your pixel art creations. <laughs> 